Hello everyone and welcome to the how-to video section of Dundas dashboard. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to add parameter to the dashboard and how to filter the associated controls. So as an example, here we have a bar chart which we're going to filter by a date range as well as using a drop down list selection. So, as you can see, if I change the selection of my date range, the data gets filtered accordingly, and same is the case when I select. A particular value from my drop down list. So let's see how to set this up. So here we have our dashboard canvas. Before we proceed, uh, I just wanted to state a few assumptions. The first one is that uh, assume that you're already familiar with how to set up a KPI and how to set the filters on it and also how to add a dashboard control onto the canvas and how to add the KPI related to it. So to add the parameters, the first step you need to do is go to the parameters section and click on add a new parameter. Give it an appropriate name. We'll be filtering by date, so let's give it uh, the name date. For the filter type, since this is coming from a KPI, we'll choose filter as uh, the option. If you want to change the level of the hierarchy, you can select the grain. Uh, you can also do periodic analysis using the data offset parameter. The virtual queue filter is only used for OLAB data and script parameter is only used if you want to set any external values to the dashboard control. So let's select filter for now and in this step uh, you'll be selecting the KPI that you want to filter on and as you select the KPI it exposes all the filters associated with it. So since we are filtering by the date uh, revenue, uh, let's select that, click on next. This step, you'll be selecting the controls uh, that you want to display on uh, for the parameter. We have two types. One is calendar and calendar range. The first one enables you to select only one value at a time, and calendar range enables you to select a start as well as an end value to as an option. Set the grain as date. This is just the level of data that you want to see. You have other options, but for our example, we'll select a date and the default calendar view is a decade you can also set it as an year as well as a month the default value will be setting as a beginning of current year and the end date as the end of the current year you can also set a particular date that you want but these setting these tokens automatically takes the value according to the system time and date. Let's click on finish. Once you have set this, drag the parameter on the canvas, save the dashboard, and click on preview. So the data is already filtered by the default values that you have selected. In order to change the selection, click on the control and select any particular date that you need set the start date and end date and as you set it the data gets filtered as you make those selections so in order to set the uh, parameter drop down list control once again, uh, click on add a new parameter. This time, uh, give it uh, the related name. Again, we'll set the filter type to filter. Select the KPI. This time, we'll be filtering on a group name, which is of a string type. Select it. This exposes the controls that are available for selection. In this case, you have a drop-down list and a text box. We'll select a drop-down list. The default values 
you can set uh, use uh, according to the selections available. These are the selections that are available from the filter uh, of the KPI. For now, we'll just uh, set it uh, to all values. Once you've done that, drag it onto the canvas. This exposes the parameter editor, which enables you to set all the values that you are able to select. So for now, we'll leave uh, every value uh, for uh, selection. You can also add any custom value that you need using this section. Go on Finish, Save, and Preview. So we have a drop-down list control with all the selections. And as you make the change to the selection, the data gets filtered accordingly. So in our example, we have seen two types of parameters. One is a date range, and the other is a parameter drop-down list. You can also have other parameter types, such as a cascading hierarchy, or a range hierarchy, or a simple hierarchy list. Uh, you can also style the parameter controls according to your uh, styling requirements. And you can also make the parameter update uh, instead of automatic updates, you can also make it update on uh, user selection manually. All of these options and more details on this process can be found in this uh, support article on our support site. So if you want further details, please visit this uh, article and you'll get more options as well as related topics associated with it. If you need any further information or have any further questions, you can always visit the support site at support.dundas.com or you can always contact Dundas Support at using the contact information shown on your screen. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.